with good old fashioned brute strength. <laughs> you can do it, Doc, don't quit! And a concept that stretches our skills. I'm just trying to figure out if we have enough tension to pull. This family's confined quarters. Our space inside's a little bit cramped. Makes way for a beachside family room. This is amazing! Complete with an all weather tile deck. I am excited. Sales for shade. It's definitely coming. And a tiki bar that's a snap to install. <laughs> it's all part of a trend to bring kitchens, dens, and even game rooms outdoors. I'm Dean. And I'm Derek. And in just three days, we want to take the indoors out. We're in Plymouth, Massachusetts, not far from the ocean, at the Chelly household, where there always seems to be a family gathering. We just love this home. We love to share it with other people. We love people to come and visit. And we have children that come and go because we do some foster care. But for Chicky, who takes care of foster kids, David, a chemical manufacturer, and their two kids, there's just no family room. Inside, we uh, don't have a lot of family space. It seems to be a hodgepodge of the kids' rec room, but not really a place that I really want to be in. It's a little too chaotic for me. There's always a need for extra space. So we're looking to expand their living space by bringing it outdoors. This is our space out here. Yep. Um, very inviting to see that. <laughs> it's like a gravel pit. You know what, Derek? I don't know why they need us. What? Look at this place. All you need is a bowling alley and a bocce court. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, everyone right. needs a little Italian. I know. Well, the one thing about it is, you know, it, it, it's just a blank slate. It is. We're thinking an elevated room, but we don't want Chicky to know. You need to go. What? We can't talk anymore <laughs> with you here. You need to go. You and, need to and go. You're working with us three days. No looking, no nothing. All right. Okay. Understand? It's going to be easy. Three and days. I don't have to do anything? No. no. All right. I For like once. this. <laughs> For once. And since Chicky also likes the beach, and we're next to the pool, we decide to go with a beachside family room. I like the atmosphere at the beach and the feeling of relaxation at the beach. To get it started, our plan is to build an elevated deck. Then add a textured outdoor tile floor. For sun protection, we want to stretch two colorful shade sails over top. On each side, we'll create beach habitats with native plants, sand, and rocks. And to finish it off, add a relaxing hammock, bamboo tiki bar, and bright summery furnishings. Our first step is to decide how large a deck to build. So we know we're 60, right? That's 60 feet long. I don't want to go that whole way. No. I'm thinking, you know what, cut it in half. Let's do like 30. Still a big deck. It is still big. Well, Dean, you gotta think big. Come on. Yeah. Okay. You're always thinking big. It's always the little guys that think big. Huh? What'd huh? You say? No, 17 is good. No, no. It's oh, perfect. perfect. You got that pink? Yep. Yeah. 17 is perfect. Do you have something to say? Nope. No, no. Something you want to talk about? Nope. I was What's just up? thinking big. Yeah. Then it's a matter of digging holes for our footings, inserting concrete form tubes. and filling them with pre-mixed concrete. Dave, only 44 more bags. At the same time, we need to get going on the deck frame. Scott and I are working on the first frame. We're doing this deck in sections because it's so large. What we're using is two by eight pressure treated wood and these frames are gonna be built in eight by eight sections. We're using galvanized nails and setting each joist 16 inches apart. Nice. The footings are all in and we've added strap ties that will eventually hold everything in place. The test is whether or not everything lines up when we bring in the frames. Somebody poured a construction tube wrong, Derek. I wonder who Derek would do something like that, Derek. I'm not wrong, I'm centered. So you can come this way, right? You yes. can come this way, yeah. yeah. <sighs> what are you complaining about? Since we're working this frame with modular pieces, we have to marry the pieces together. And this square here is making sure that these two pieces come together at the same elevation. We don't want any lips 
or anything sinking or moving. So this is keeping us on the right track. In addition to attaching the sections, we secure the end of each joist with a joist hanger. It is critical to have everything tight and level. The final step is to nail the strap ties to the frame to prevent any movement. And we're on our way to building the ultimate beachside family room. Coming up, a cool shade idea that has Dean stretched to the limit. Timey like this and this girth could create a lot of shade. Plus, a brand new product to turn any wooden deck into a tile floor. We're in Plymouth, Massachusetts, not far from the ocean, where Chickie and David Chelly want to create a beachside family room. I love the beach, but to get my children to the beach is more work than it's worth. They don't like the salt water, they're not crazy about the sand, so it'll be really amazing to have a pool for them to be happy with and also the beach for me. <laughs> We've got the deck frame built and our materials for the floor have arrived. Pro board? mortar mix and the tie. Hey Derek, how you doing? Good, how are you? Dean, how are you? Along with Greg Yeager, who is helping with installation. This is our pro board, which is the base of the deck here. We're gonna screed concrete on this, and this is what we're gonna set our tile on. Now this is made out of a composite that's actually very similar to the exterior of an airplane. It won't contract. We're using inch and a quarter screws which go directly into the joist. But after securing the first board, we'll wait on the rest of the screws. It'll make it easier to snap the edges, which are tongue and groove, into place. So when we set this probe board, what we're gonna do is we're alternating them. You don't want seams to match up. When you do that, like carpentry or stonework, brickwork, it takes away the strength. You want to break up the joint. So we're doing two 12s and an eight, another 12, and maybe another cut, and another cut. Meanwhile, we've got to make a decision about which shade sails to use. They come in triangles and squares. This is a very interesting way to create shade over any type of a living space. We're going to attach these to some posts, pull them tight, and that way the whole middle of this area is gonna have shade and then you can have the sun on either side. Or another option is you could uh, tie me up between the posts, tie me like this, and this girth could create a lot of shade. The square would work, but we want a sail look. I think this is gonna cover the whole thing from left to right. It'll be we'll very cool, and I like the two the different colors too, it looks cool. If you want any ideas on outdoor rooms, or you want to learn how to roll down your sails before the big storm comes in. Just go to DIYnetwork.com. Yep. It's definitely coming. Back at the deck, we're using a circular saw to cut the composite boards. Once they're all in place, we'll need to finish screwing. snapping lines on the pro board so that way we can follow with the screws and we won't get lost and we'll hit the joists. And with hundreds of screws to put in, it helps not to get off track. We've got our mortar mix set up. We're going to pour it right onto this and Dean and I are going to screed it to create our subfloor. Spread it with the trowel to get it going. Using a flat board, we screed the mortar evenly over the deck surface and check to make sure it's a level flat coat. The mortar is simple. Combine liquid admix with laticrete mud and mix.
Coming up, if you set tile outdoors, you're in real trouble if you use the wrong kind. It doesn't get any cooler than that. And with our extra large deck, there are hazards. I just pulled my groin up. I'll be right back. We're in Plymouth, Massachusetts, building a beachside family room for the Chelly family. Chicky has been sent away for three days to prevent her from peeking while her husband, David, helps out. That's really hard. I like to just kind of see what's going on and jump in, and I like to be part of the project. Our deck frame and subfloor are in, and we're dry laying the tiles starting with the full piece in the front. So I'm gonna have a cut back here with this measurement. And I'm gonna have a half cut on either side. And I wanna make sure those cuts are equal. The only way to figure that out is to lay it out, map it out, measure it out. But to install it, we need help. So we call in Bob Rooney and his son Jay. We spread a healthy layer of thin set and begin setting. Bob's using a 3 8 inch notch trowel and then firmly pressing the porcelain tile into place. The spacers keep everything symmetrical and the slide cutter works like a charm. It's a good idea to keep a wet sponge handy to wipe off any thin set that gets in the tile. Let me tell you some cool things about this tile. First off, it's a four grit commercial tile, which means you can use it outside. Secondly, it's porcelain. That is very important. Anytime you do tile outside, you want to use a porcelain tile. The way this is packaged is they already balance off the colors for you, so you can open a box and start laying these tiles. And most importantly, this is made in Italy. Or as I say, Italy. It's the only place I buy my tile or my neighbors would beat me. With the temperature rising, our thin set hardens quicker. So we pick up the pace and keep fresh mixes coming. Mix, set, and mix some more. Of course, all this mixing can be hazardous. I have to admit my inner thighs are burning. Who needs that Susan Summers thing? Ugh. I did it! I just pulled my groin up. I'll be right back. Hey, if you want more information on this project or you want to learn how to mix thin set, there's a detailed video and step-by-step -step instructions on the homepage of Indoors Out at DIYNetwork.com. We can't walk on the tile yet, but we've got to work out the length of our covering before we actually attach it. I'm just trying to figure out if we have enough tension to pull. So right now at this, I got plenty. I want you to see the height. So why don't you, can you hold it up as high as possible? Right about there? Okay, cool, that's it. Thank you. With the tile floor nearly complete, we get cracking on the landscaping. In about 10 years, this is how Derek's gonna move me along. I'm gonna be too fat to walk, so Derek's just gonna push me. You'll see Derek and about 10 other guys. Go, Derek, go! You can do it, Derek, the little train that could. You can do it, Derek, don't quit! I'm not no. quitting! Coming up, you won't believe the assembly process for this durable tiki bar. I don't know if you thought that Dean was hitting the tiki bar or his head, but that's the same sound. Plus, how to add splash to a dry riverbed. Guess what? It looks like we are at the beach. But first, we're using triangular sails in our design. But what shape were the sails of the first sailboats? A, triangular, B, square, or C, star-shaped with six points? The answer, when Indoors Out continues.
We're using triangular sails in our outdoor design. But what was the shape of the earliest sails? The answer is B. The first sails were square. Triangular sails did not become widely used until the 14th century. We're in Plymouth, Massachusetts, building a beachside family room for the Chelly family. Chicky has been sent away for three days to keep our beachside family room a complete surprise. We're setting porcelain tile outdoors just like you would indoors. But now, we need some shade. We're putting the hardware in for our first sale. I have to tell you, putting up this first sale, I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I look excited, but I am excited. We're gonna set up a little bit of a rope system for that. We attach an old hook and pulley on the side posts. Now all we need is the front. And the same one. We get a bucket. <laughs> Tell you something, when I come back as a giraffe, they're all gonna laugh. Meanwhile, a delivery we've been waiting for arrives just in time. Where do you want to go with this? We're going to go, let's go as far back as we can while I got you. I got to abuse you. Okay. It's the Tiki Bar. This will give us a true beachside atmosphere. It's made for outdoors all year round. And this mahogany color is just going to pop beautiful up against that tile. The terracotta sail with the other sand sail. You can't feel this at home? but it's solid. I don't know if you thought that Dean was hitting the tiki bar or his head, but that's the same sound. Look, it's gonna be simple assembly. All we need is a hammer. It comes with wooden dowels, which tap through pre-drilled holes in the thatch roof. Once they're all in, we snip off the ends. Now, we just need to make our beach feel like a beach. That means rocks, boulders, and plants. We're using plants indigenous to the beach. Tall grasses, sage, sweet flag, and coreopsis. The thing about sea grasses and any decorative grasses, you want to clump them together. You may see some that are by themselves with other things around them, but if you clump grasses together, they flow in the breeze and they create that look that everybody loves. We got these stone, we did a slight curve, and we made a dry riverbed. Now we found this. This is glass mulch, but it mimics sea glass, so we put a little at the top, a little at the end, and I'm going to throw a little all over the place, and guess what? It looks like we are at the beach. And with the landscaping in, we just need to add color and comfort. And with that, our beachside family room is complete. Up. One step up. Good. It's time for Chicky yeah. to see her new room. Take it off. You can take the Ready? blindfold off. Ready? <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't believe this is the same place. Wow, oh, look at the shade. This is incredible. I'm like, I'm Go a Go check it out, it doesn't okay, bite. Okay, we can do that, all right. It just got pulled together so nice. The plants just accented everything. I had a big dirt pit before, and to believe they could just bang this out in three days is, is Pretty amazing. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Oh. The tiki bar, I can't wait to have the kids you know, plug in the blender, make some smoothies, and just have some fun with that. Everything out here stays outside, like this carpet, you can leave it outside. Really? Wow. These Adirondack chairs are just totally fit the beach oh. thing. So Island Dave. Breeze. Well, island feel Doesn't here. it feel like an it island feels breeze like an over island. here? Come on. Wow, it's gonna be hard to get and me to I... do anything indoors now. Yeah.
It's great to have a place that we're all going to be able to congregate all the time with all of our friends and just relax and have a nice time.